My name is Chris and I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Center here in Yates County. And as you can see, this is a building where we have art that is created by people from all over Yates County of all ages. So art can be many things. It can be paintings, we have those on the wall. It can be pottery. It can be pottery that is useful or pottery that is sculpture. It can be sculpture. It can be glass. It can be paper. It can be metal. It can be jewelry. There are all sorts of things that can be art. And it's just as much creativity as you'd like to have. And everybody has a little bit of creativity. So if you have an idea of how to make something that's unique, it may be art. You may be an artist. And the Art Center is a place that helps people not only figure out where they can see art that people make, but also a place that teaches people how to make art. Now, this building, and remember that art is all around you, so in the clothes that you wear, in the cars that you drive in, and even in your buildings. So this building used to be an old bank. For a hundred years it was a bank. And then it was a courthouse for the village, and now uh, it is the art center. And we had an architect come in and teach us how to do things, and we had construction guys come in and build things. So I'm going to take you back, and we're going to look at one of the remnants, one of the things that's left over from when this building was a bank. And it's actually the reason that the people who are in charge of this organization, our board of directors, were all volunteers, why they picked this building. Okay, so this is a bank vault. It's basically a large safe where when it was a bank they kept the money. The interesting thing about this is look at this door. It's very, very heavy. It weighs about 18 tons. And one of the reasons that we like it is that it is sort of a work of art in itself. Somebody took the time to etch all these designs in it. There are really fun gears. It was on a timer. It's very heavy, so we keep it open. But it's very well balanced on these huge hinges. And so when people had to close it at the end of the day, they could just push it a little bit and it would close. We have it locked open because when it starts to close, it's really hard to stop. It goes very fast and it's so heavy. And then in here is where they had the money. And there were extra doors. You see we have extra doors. Close the money in. And interestingly enough, when we first opened the art center, we had a young guy who came in with his grandmother and he went back there and he closed the door just as a joke but the little latch didn't work. <laughs> he locked it himself in. <laughs> and he was very good, he wasn't afraid. His, his sister, who was five, was a little afraid. <laughs> but we called the locksmith, and then one of our volunteers came and showed him how to unpop the lock so he could come out. And he was fine, and he brought his whole family here to see where he'd been locked in. Now we keep our jewelry here, because jewelry is precious. So we have jewelry in here. And we had a, a, one of our artists made these nice cabinets for us. So they're all handmade. And this is just a really neat thing. Sometimes people come and they help us out and they polish. This is all brass, so they polish the metal so it's shiny. So we don't have money here, but we have precious things and it is neat and everybody... Oh, look at these cool earrings here. Not that we're going to do a commercial, but look at the M&M earrings. <laughs> Somebody thought that that would be a really fun thing to make. See, art can be anything. So when we redid this building, when we renovated the building, one of the things that we knew that we needed was an elevator. And we had somebody uh, put the shaft in. We had to put the elevator in after we finished renovating it because we had to make some more money. But not a lot of people know it's here. And it's kind of a cool thing because it's hidden behind this door. And if you look inside, it's sort of an old-fashioned elevator because it has a grate instead of a regular elevator door. And it has a mirror 
so that even though it's a small elevator, if you're inside it, it feels bigger. That's why we have that in there. But we want to go upstairs because upstairs, there's the other part of the art center. This is the art part of the art center. And upstairs is the learning part of the, of the art center. coming out upstairs. This is our second floor. There's a couple of fun things here. And one is this room, which is now our treasurer's office, but which used to be a second safe, like the vault downstairs. This one obviously had a square door, which was very heavy. It took eight people carrying it down the stairs to get it downstairs. And this was the inside door. So this had more money and more savings bonds and stuff for, uh, for the bank downstairs. And now we just keep that, has a little lock on it. And we actually, there's a window at the back. We put the window in because otherwise, uh, and you can see how thick the wall is. Otherwise it would have been dark, dark, dark in that particular room. The Art Center actually has two locations. And one is this building, and the other location is on Cuca Lake on the east side. It was given to us by a woman named Annie Smith. She was a professor of art history. And when she died, she gave us her property. It's called an estate gift. And so during the summer, we use that property to invite people to come and be an artist in residence. There's a little cottage there. We have classes down there. There's sort of a barn-like building that we use as a studio. And there's a little boathouse that we turned into a pottery studio. So for four months during the summer, we open up Sunny Point. And the artwork that we have up here is artwork that was given to us uh, and created by artists who came and stayed at Sunny Point. So this one here shows the boathouse with the back porch of the cottage. That shows the point. These are picture, the picture by the dock looking out over the lake. This is the potty in the red barn. We have there the red barn, how it used to look. We've made some changes. This is the white cottage as it used to look. There's another of the white cottage and a couple of photographs. So we're very proud of that property and it's fun to have this art done by artists who were there and really enjoyed visiting our area for the first time. Some were painters, some were writers, some were photographers. We've had all sorts of people come and stay and do art on Cuca Lake. This is the classroom at the Art Center. And in this classroom, as you can see, we have tables, we have chairs, we have lots of art supplies to do all kinds of projects and to learn how to do all kinds of different art. And sometimes it's glass art and sometimes it's weaving. Sometimes it's using fabric like felt. There are crayons here, there are paints here. There are all kinds of markers and paper and all different kinds of things to make art. You're only stopped by how far your imagination will take you. So if you have a good imagination, you can go as far as you'd like with doing art. We have classes here for all ages and for all different kinds of art and we do it all year long. So it's a good thing to look up and say, gosh, I'd like to do something different. And we have people who teach things like making puppets and making costumes and making pottery and making jewelry and all different forms of art are taught in this classroom. And a lot of people don't even know it's here. The teacher can face the class and they can work here, but the class can look in the mirror and they can see, obviously, in a mirror, it's a reflection, so it's backwards. So they can see what the teacher's doing without the teacher's back being to them. <laughs> 